Thank you for clicking on the video. Welcome back to the channel. This is another review for Grotesquerie, season one, episode five, Red Haze. <sighs> a haze it was, okay? This one here had me a little perturbed because what a waste of time. What a waste of time. What are we doing, Ryan? Anyway. Lois and Morgan, Megan, I'm really finna like breeze through it. Cause when I say it ain't, it ain't even but a, like a, 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 not even half a page of notes. These notes is so short <laughs> because it didn't give me anything at all. Let's get into this. Let's get into the story. Lois and Megan, sister Megan, they all driving around with this bloody girl named Andrea. Andrea says she was hit. They pull up to this hotel. She tries to act like she's okay. She says she just needed a ride. Girl, you're beaten and bloody. Please let us help you. She insists. She's fine. She gets out and runs inside, like literally takes off running. <laughs> Megan, she's like, I think there's a little a hallucinogenic or something in this, in this, in the air. Like something is afoot. They decide they're gonna stay at this very same motel that Andrea ran into. They at the pool, the water inside the pool is purple. So we we don't know what that's about. Um, they check in and the clerk, she also needs some help because she got a black eye. I, I, what is happening? <laughs> Lois notices, you know, that she also bruised and beaten up. She's like, girl, what's going on? The lady say, listen, it's really none of your concern. She's okay. Megan wants to make sure that Andrea is okay. So they go out there to check on her. <sighs> Bathroom, bloody as hell. I mean, blood everywhere. Tissue all over the floor, blood everywhere. But no Andrea. Uh, we don't we don't know where she is. Um, Megan immediately gets down on her knees to pray. <laughs> immediately we gotta pray. Lois, she turns on the TV to see if anything is on. The news don't help. There's nothing. She gets a call from Nurse Red. Nurse Red want her to make to make a decision. You gonna make me power of attorney or no. Nah. So she 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 she's still on her about that. She said, We just can't keep your husband on life support like f forever. <laughs> um Outside, Megan, she thinks she sees something in the distance. It's really an accident. So she she runs up to try to help the people over at the pool. She sees a man drowning the, the clerk that was out that was the that, that was at the front desk. She getting drowned in the pool as as we speak. That's confusing. Um, Lois, she can't be bothered <laughs> with the with the lady being drowned. Um she needs to use a phone. So she goes back to the front desk to use that phone. But when she picks up the line, it's busy. While she's trying to use the phone, out of nowhere, somebody just starts shooting at her. She runs. <laughs> she runs in the room to get her gun. Megan is in there praying. Lois is panicking. They hear Andrea and some and the and the clerk outside pleading for help, like begging, don't shoot, you know, please, don't, don't hurt us. Then this man is outside. He has a gun too. It's a standoff. The man, this other man drives up. And he got he got on a black coat. He get out. They dodging bullets. He grabs Andrea, puts her in the car, and they ride out. Megan runs out to help, and then she shot. Lois prays with her until help comes. We see Megan in the ambulance. Lois is there with her, and then then when they get to the hospital, the priest he comes to visit. He come in there throwing away flowers. Talking about that's not what she likes. She likes wildflowers, and then dismisses. Um, Lois telling her she need to go and go figure out who did it. He got it here. Bye. <laughs> Outside, her one of her colleagues is there. They've already started looking into Lois's old cases to see who done got released from prison or whatever. They they come up on an old case where this woman, her name is Glorious or something like that. Um, she was released two months ago. So right around the time all of this stuff started happening. Lois is home. She wakes up to, to a call. There's another crime scene. Of course, the people already there throwing up. I mean, do we have to do this every time? Do we have to do it every time? I get it. <laughs> I get it. It's a very grotesque scene. Every time y'all come to these scenes, I don't want to see somebody throwing up into my into my place. <laughs> anyway, um, it's at a center for women and children, something like that. But there are these uh pregnant three pregnant women that were killed they are cut open 
like cesarean style, but like, it's like weird. Their stomachs look weird because their stomachs are still like, you know, like, like pregnant belly, but like with a big hole, gaping hole in the middle. It's very weird, very strange. Um, but the babies are gone. The police chief is like, you know what? Maybe we should just recuse ourselves, you know, like, cause, and maybe you specifically you, because maybe if you recuse, maybe if you step down, maybe the killings will stop because they really are they're coming for you. Is this is about you? And maybe if you're not around, maybe this won't even happen. Um, Lois goes to another scene and there were some kids left alone. The mom left with a strange man. She was pregnant. Lois asked about the man. The little girl is immediately triggered. We don't know why. Lois heads out to investigate and then she stumbles on this woman in this field of like orange trees. I don't know. But she's holding a newborn baby that she clearly did not give birth to. And until next time. <laughs> now let's move on to episode six, like just straight away. Cause pfft, again, I, these last two episodes didn't really do it for me. I don't know. Anyway, this is episode six. Let's roll on the episode. You, it took me three minutes. Oh no, I forgot that. I, I was going to say it took me three minutes to review this. No, I forgot that I had to, that, that I had to come back. I had to pause and come back. Anyway, episode six, good cesarean work. So at the hospital, they checked the woman out who had, who, who brought in that baby. She didn't give birth. Like that's obvious. Lois goes in to talk to her and the woman is asking about the baby. And she's like, girl, we know you didn't have no baby. Now, I just came from a, a crime scene where women were cut open and their babies were taken. You ain't, you know anything about that? And of course, the woman says, you know, it's not going to be, it's not a match. And she keeps using this word glorious, almost like she's taunting um, Lois. And so Lois, you know, is picking up on it. It's making her a little nervous. Um, and the lady is like, maybe somebody's trying to get your attention. You know, I don't know. What makes you think that it's not some glorious dream? What would she represent? What would, what would the baby represent? <laughs> Just really, ma'am, stop playing mind games. Stop playing mind games. I got to turn this light down because when I say it is burning me up, burning up. <laughs> Whew. I know it turned it down a little bit, but <laughs> when I say I was starting to get a little Whitney upper lip sweat going on. Um, whew. Whew. <laughs> keep that near. Let me keep that near. Um, matter of fact, let me I'll be, be, hold, hold your back. I hope this isn't like loud in the mic. Um, I should probably turn her off. I done cooled off. I done cooled off a little bit. Y'all, it was hot. It was high up under them, uh, up under the light and the sweatshirt and the wig. <laughs> okay. Um. Anyway, let me let me let me let me let me get back to the review. Let me get back to to, to what we're supposed to be doing. Um. Anyway, she leaves that lady. She leaves that lady to go find out um where Glorious is. You know where where she can be found. Um, cause the lady been taking babies with glorious like she's been taking babies she's connected to glorious we got to find out where glorious is anyway she finds her location she takes them back up they go in and glorious is now a pastor minister situation i don't know she got her she got a whole she got her a little a little following um and she say i've been expecting you, you know because she sent that lady around there to get lois's attention with that baby so that lois would be on you know high alert like hey they stealing babies <laughs> This is what they're doing over there. Um, Lois want to know, you know, like, why are you trying to set me up? She denies it, of course. You know, she's like, you should be thanking me because I'm helping you save the babies from being sold on the black market. Um, the ba it's, There's a backup officer out there, and there's some people out there trying to get in with their guns. Like, they're trying to ambush her a little bit. Absolutely not. The backup officer catches it, clocks it, shoots right away. <laughs> shoots right away. They got to take um old girl up out of here. She so she get arrested. You know, it really don't leaving her with really not not many answers. Like she tells her that Macy, Maisie, the, the the lady with the baby, she has been following some false prophet who got her out here snatching up babies. 
Um, and so that that was a little bit of that was a little bit of a little bit of information. So thank you, Glorious. Um, Lois is still, you know, a little confused. Anyway, she get a call from an unknown number. Of course, the person on the line don't say anything. They just start breathing. They just breathing heavily and um, listening to classical music. Lois tells him, listen, I'm not afraid of you. And I'll catch you anyway before you ever think that you're going to get one over on me. <laughs> before you think you're going to get to me first, I'm going to catch you first. Um... She goes like to the to the to the kitchen sink, standing at the window. And when she looks out, there's like this flash. So somebody out there took a picture of her. She runs out there to see what it is. She doesn't see anybody, but she does see Nurse Red pulling up. She done popped up on her. She wanna come over, wanna come in and talk. She has a bottle of vodka. She sit down talking about <sighs> so there's another connection between us that I think you should know about. <laughs> She said she knew Marshall before, before Marshall ended up in this in this comatose state. Um, she says that she read about one of his seminars on terror management, so she went. She enjoyed it, and then she took another class, and she was just just sitting in there, <sighs> hanging on his every word like a groupie. <laughs> she the last one to leave class every time. He offers to take her out for drinks. Of course she goes. They have a full on situation. She wanted him to leave his he was she wanted she wanted him to leave uh Lois and 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 their daughter and everything. And he wouldn't leave you guys. No, bitch. Of course not. Crazy self. She just crying over this lady husband. <laughs> Lois takes her hands like oh, I know that that must have been very hard for you to do. I know it must have been real, real tough for you to let that out. And she said, oh, yes, because I'm so glad that you're so understanding because I just thought you was going to pick up your pick up your pistol. And girl, Lois does pick up said pistol. <laughs> you spoke too soon, baby. If I catch your motherfucking ass around my husband's bedside ever again, it's going to be you on life support, ho. Now get the fuck out of my house. Oh, oh, oh okay. <laughs> Nurse Red, know when to hold him, when to fold him. She get on up out of there. As she should. Um, Lois visits. Getting a message there. Anyway, Lois visits the woman in the psych ward. Um, she want to know who's in charge. Like who got you out here taking babies? And she says that it's a false prophet. Glorious made her see the errors of her ways, made her see that what she was doing was wrong. But she says that the mothers weren't good mothers. You know, they were going to sell their babies for crack. <laughs> at, least that's what the, at least that's what the man was telling her. Um, and then she says she feels like the man is part man, part something else. So it's definitely a demon. Definitely a demon. She talks about him coming from the, from the, the earth that opened up. So the fire pit, of course, that they just came from. Um, he, she tells her that it's that you know he has bigger plans for her. He he got he got plans on her being a martyr. <laughs> Where are the babies, Maisie? Please. She gives them a location. They pull up to the to the to the place. They go inside, and all these women are like hanging from this from like a ceiling. And all these tubes are going all around. They're attached to their breasts. Babies on the floor or down below. All of them with pacifiers that have the tubes attached to them. They're nursing. He using all them women as wet nurses. Just up there hanging in the thing. Lois walks around. She's she trying to see if she can find Grotesque Reed, trying to catch him in the moment because she's following the classical music. She finds this room with pictures of her all over the wall while she's standing there looking. Um, there's this hand that's coming up from behind about to slice her throat. She catches it, blocks it, pulls out her weapon. Bam, bam, bam. Knocks whoever that is to the ground. And when she goes to pull the mask off. To be continued. I mean, how how what what else they gonna do? <laughs> of course, it's to be continued, so they can have me coming back here again for seven and eight, and hopefully that's when we that's how we gonna wrap this up. Um, I 
will say this is this is completely off topic. But since this is a Ryan Murphy situation, it just brought me to Ryan Murphy, um, all things Ryan Murphy. And American Horror Stories is back. The remaining episodes. And I'm going to say I really enjoyed these last few episodes more way more than I did the episodes one through. I think it's I think it was four, four or five. No, four. Because we started back. We started back up with episode five. That's neither here nor there. We ain't even here for that. But I will be back. I'll be back to review American Horror Stories because it was actually good. It was actually good. Anyway, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe to the channel. It's Call Me Busby, and I'll chat with you later. Peace and life.